It's Hawaii's deadliest natural disaster in 60 years. The flames completely destroying the town of Lahaina. The fires back home, I just see like the whole city is just like on flames. My home and my childhood and my memories just being burnt. It's, a, it's not an easy thing to look at. I really want to go back and help out more than ever. I still got a lot of families and friends that are affected by it. It's a hard thing to talk about. It's been a long journey for me. It's just something I've been thinking about recently. It hasn't been easy. Roman grew up and was born in Hawaii. Hawaii can be economically challenging. There was a period of time when Roman was fairly young where we were sleeping in our car. I was going from one lease to another. What I told Roman when we were homeless is to stay focused on where you want to end up. Obstacles are what you see when you take your eyes off the goal. I always knew where I was going and that we would make it out and I tried to tell him that this is not our final destination. I grew up poor. My family and my mom, especially my mom, like my mom really sacrificed a lot. I was cleaning houses, babysitting, I was a secret shopper. I did all kinds of jobs. I would get home at night and I'd be so exhausted, I wouldn't even make it in the house, I'd just fall asleep in the car. And he knows, like, I went the extra mile to make sure that he could go to a private school which would support his football. When I was in eighth grade, my dad and my mom were deciding what uh, high school I should go to, and uh, there was this great school called St. Louis. Roman lived on Maui, and when he decided to go to St. Louis High School, St. Louis is on Oahu, so that's another island and there's no bridges to go there, there's no boats, you're flying there. Maui is about a 20 minute flight to Oahu. Roman's dad worked for Hawaiian Airlines, so that allowed Roman to travel for free, but he had to fly standby. I would get up at four in the morning, go to the airport, fly to school. Once I got out of the airport, I'd get on the bus and take the bus to school, go to practice take the bus back to the airport and fly home. Now that I say it out loud, like that's not, that's not real. Being at St. Louis, one of my first practices, and seeing Tua there, I'm like, man, this guy's gonna go to the league and he's gonna do big things. And I was like, yeah, this is uh, definitely something I wanna do. Sometimes I feel like growing up, like I didn't have too much of a childhood because I was working on this dream. Growing up, I really wanted to go to Oregon. I never really thought I was gonna be at Michigan and they called me and I was just like, man, like, like Michigan just called me, like that's crazy. When Roman first met Harbaugh, it was at a satellite camp. He was only in the eighth grade and Roman won the camp. He got best athlete or fastest man. And I have a video of Harbaugh holding his hand up saying, everybody, Roman Wilson, class of such and such, everybody keep an eye on Roman Wilson. Everybody keep an eye on Roman Wilson. Third down, McCarthy looks right, fires for Wilson for the hat trick. He got it. Third of the game for Roman Wilson. Having a guy that's faster than everybody in the country, it's just an amazing comfort as a quarterback. If you just put it out there in a spot where only he can get it, he's going to go and get it and come down with it. In the end zone, touchdown Wolverines. Roman Wilson, he switched his number from 14 to number one, and there have been some great number ones at Michigan. The greats that have worn it, those guys that have played that position, it just means that your excellence of that position. When he changed to it from 14, everybody kind of looked at him like, man, that's a lot to live up to. He's like, I'm going to live up to it. I never really line up or go about my day thinking that like, I'm the dude or I'm number one. I just know I got a job to do and I got to go do it. 
JJ takes the snap, back to pass. Gonna fire to the end zone, Roman Wilson's there, he goes up, he's got it! Touchdown, Wolverines! Wow, what an unbelievable catch! It was one of the best catches I've ever seen in my life. It might be the best, especially in live action. I've seen a lot of good ones. Even when it happened, I was texting my friends, I'm like, it just looked like Roman caught somebody's head. Can you send me like the replay? I didn't know Roman could do things like that. And to see him go up and grab a ball off somebody's helmet, I was like, yeah, Roman means business this year.